What's up, YouTube? Well, with less than six hours to go before I get in a car to get on a plane to go to BlizzCon, I figured I was stupid enough to throw out a quick preview. Another zombie game based in a post-apocalyptic world where your best defense is a good offense, Contagion offers the player a chance to play in a world that has already gone to hell in a handbasket. You start out in the middle of the action with little ammo, no idea what is going on, and your own wits. As I said, this is a preview, so I won't be going into agonizing details of the game as they are apt to change. I bring it to you because the game has enough promise that it is worth taking a look at. Again, preview. This is a taste of what they can give. This is not a review. We're not looking at a finished product. Do not count this game off or even completely decide to buy the game based solely on this video. Now let's take a look at it. Created by Monochrome, Contagion is a multiplayer game first-person shooter. You choose between eight different avatars with a paragraph's worth of a backstory. After choosing who you want, you start your adventure. The game offers different modes which ultimately boil down to the last man standing, helping evacuate others, and exploring maps. Let's go ahead and get the things Monochrome needs to work on out of the way, and to be honest, there's some major issues. The first is the playability of the game. I will review a game over a two-day period, playing it for hours on end, at different times and intervals, all kinds of different aspects. This is to ensure that I have a good grasp and not to let one experience bias my entire opinion on the game. In the sum of trying to play the game, I have had it not load and require computer restart four times. The game crashed two times on me, and it actually crashed my computer once. I had one of the writers at thegamingheretic.com try to play the game, and it even crashed their computer on the second try. And that's nothing compared to the damnable wait time of the loading screen. You know it's bad when not even being able to play the game is your second biggest gripe. The loading screen took sometimes up to five minutes for it to load. I'm not kidding. Five minutes. I got up and did other tasks while I waited for it to load. To be fair, when I had someone else from the Heretic team play it, they didn't experience any kind of delay, but I don't have this with any other game. It only occurred on Contagion. The graphics need to be polished up a bit. The characters can also be unsettling, falling into the curve of the uncanny valley where they look human but the eyes are off so it's just unsettling. The maps are also large but lack enough depth. I didn't find a lot of obstacles and hiding spots really were sparse. Players would flock to specific points to fight each other or to defend against the zombie onslaught in every match. And while I will not hold it against the game, there are only four real playable maps with very limited objectives. The game is still in beta, so I have every confidence there will be more content added. So this isn't really a big or major deal, but they are asking that you purchase their game right now. And right now, as of this preview, you have very limited maps and very limited objectives. All of that being said, this game has a lot of promise. In fact, I would describe the vision of this game, not what it currently looks like, but what I can see this game being in the future as taking Left 4 Dead and making it better. In the game, you will have a reasonable diversity in weapons including handguns, rifles, sniper rifles, grenades, and more. You actually have a smartphone that you can pull out that will provide maps, text messages, and even ways to connect to other phones to make the other phones beep so that zombies will come to them in last man standing matches. The game gives very, very limited ammunition with tough as hell to kill zombies. You really have to score a headshot in order to truly bring one down. You run out of ammunition very quickly and might not have melee weapons available. In team matches, you really have to rely on others in order to survive and watch each other's back. It almost has a state of decay feel in that your choices really matter. If you make a mistake, you or others will die. I found myself actually waiting for zombies to get right on top of me to ensure that I could get a headshot, or running like hell and not firing weapons so I wouldn't attract other zombies. The consequences felt very, very real. Additionally, there are literally hundreds of servers, and the community is wonderful. I did not have any issue getting along with others, and everyone seemed really focused on playing and just having a good time. The game in its current beta form is $15 on Steam. It isn't worth that right now. However, I, I did kind of want to put this out there. If you love everything Left 4 Dead, or you were thinking about purchasing Left 4 Dead, or Left 4 Dead 2, consider this game first. Ironically, both Left 4 Dead and Left 4 Dead 2 are $20 each. Contagion is $15. The game has promised to be far superior than what you find in the Left 4 Dead franchise. I would suggest possibly taking a shot with Monochrome and purchasing their game in the hopes that they can continue on the right track that they are on. 
Hell, I'm putting my money where my mouth is. Next year, I will be purchasing game keys for all of the Heretic team. And this is for us to have game nights and just to kind of have some camaraderie. Contagion is now on the top of that list. I will definitely be considering them when I buy five to ten game keys. All right, guys. So that's about all I have to do. Again, this was just a preview. I will be doing an actual review of this game as soon as they're ready to give me a finished product, so stay tuned with that. Also, stay tuned watching this channel both here and on thegamingheretic.com as we will be doing live coverage of BlizzCon this entire weekend. So I will see you guys there.